Welcome to Learn Smart Coding, the ultimate destination for mastering cutting edge tech skills. From front end framework to the back end system, our video covers it all. With real time demos and in depth tutorials, we will teach you how to code like a pro. Subscribe now and start your journey to becoming a smart coder. Are you looking to securely retrieve secrets from the Azure key vaults in your .NET Core application? In this comprehensive tutorial, I'll guide you through the entire process from setting up the key vault and registering your application to access the secrets using the client ID and secret and get ready to enhance your application security and streamline your secret management. I have opened the portal and these are the list of resources that I have. Uh, so basically you need to go and click on the key vaults if it is available, if not search for the key vault. This is the key vault landing page. Right now there is no key vaults. We are going to create two key vaults. So let's click on the first one and select the appropriate resource group. Give a key vault name. I'm going to give LSC dev key KV. So basically this key vault is mainly meant for the dev purpose. Okay. So I'm going to give a name and uh, let's have the final name as LSC issue dev key vault. And then I'm going to leave everything else to be the default one. If you go to the next one here alone, instead of the role based uh, access control, click on the vault based access policy. So we will come to the access policy in the later stage and give some permission to some applications, which I will show you. But, but for now, let's keep moving and let's go and click on the final one called create. And with the latest and the default settings, everything is choose. The deployment is in progress. The deployment is done. So let's quickly go and create another key vault while the deployment is in, in the progress. So I'm going to choose the same resource group. I'm going to name this as a production because for the demo purpose, we need two key vaults so that you understand how to access it from the local and how to access it from the production and how this is how the organization uh, usually sets up, right? So this is also, it's going to be the same vault access policy. Don't worry about access policy. I will show you how to do it, but let's keep everything else as default. Click on review, create everything is good validation success. Click on create and this is also getting deployed. Now there are two key walls we initiated. The first one is ready and the second one, once you refresh it, it will come. Yes, it came. So both the key walls are ready. Now let's go to the first one, the dev one, go to the secrets under the objects and then let's put some two secrets, which is specifically meant for the dev purpose. Okay. So I'm going to name it in such a way that when we retrieve the, uh, the name and the secret value. Uh, you will be understanding that this is definitely coming from a dev key vault uh, rather than keeping the names uh, common so we get confused so for demo purpose i'm going to name everything as dev for the dev and prod for the prod okay don't worry about the secret value it's all about retrieving this information from the application so let's create two secrets put some value create it and then let's wait to see how it works See now there are two uh, secrets added. Now let's go to the production, do the same thing. But right now, instead of having the dev, I'm going to name it as prod. So th the name is all same except the prefix and value is going to be definitely different, uh, which is okay. So let's create two more here. First is done. Second one is the key two. Let's give some value. Click on create. Okay, so two secrets in both the key vaults. Okay, now let's go to the first key vault. And uh, here we need to show, I mean, we need to give permissions to the application. So in order to first create an application, click on the active directory, which is Azure active directory. So if you're on your directory, that will be a default active directory. Under the default active directory, there's something called app registration. So click on the new registration here, name, a meaningful name, so you identify what application it is. This is just a demo purpose. I'm going to give this as dev app. Okay. Um, maybe, yeah, just leave it as dev app. Okay. And then you have to choose the first one within the organization because your application is going to be within your application, right? So we're not going to give them access to anyone outside it. So keep that in mind. And then the redirect URI for now, just give a valid redirect URI, choose as web. It doesn't really matter for now for this purpose. Now this is done. So here you see something called client ID, copy that tenant ID, copy that these two will be required when we do a configuration in the application and let's open up the application. Let's stop this, which is already running. Let's go to the development.json. Okay. So I already have a set of, uh, you know, the configuration, it just doesn't have the value. So here we're going to replace the client ID. 
uh, client ID from the client ID and the tenant ID from the tenant ID. So let's keep the client ID here and then let's go to the tenant, get a tenant ID, copy that, keep it here and one more thing pending is the client secret. So in order to client the client secret, click on the certificate and secret, click on new client secret, give some description and then you can choose whenever this one will be expired, the recommended is 180 days, I mean, I'm going to leave it as default. Now remember, copy this value immediately, once you're done with out, come outside, this value will be disabled, you cannot copy it. And if you forget to do so, it's okay, delete that secret and create a new secret. Okay, so now let's go to the key vault. It's time to configure this application to the key vault. So basically what we are trying to do is, in the Azure, we are telling, hey, this application has access to the key vault. Okay, now we need to add the key vault uh, page URL, which we copied from the overview. Okay, so now if we try to run this application, okay, I have a preset of coding. Uh, a basic coding that is done. I will show you shortly, but let's do the configuration first. So access policy, click on the access policy to the left side and here you choose what permission is required. So the whole purpose of this demo is about the secret permission, right? So basically we can do a, a read permission on key secret certificate or because it's only secret. So let's remove the permission for the key and certificate. So the application which is going to be configured for this one will have access only to this the secrets. Now here under the principle, try to search with the name that we developed that we created in the, uh, you know, the application. So just choose it and then done. You're done with that. So now we basically say the application that we registered has access to the secret of this key vault and it just has a read in the list permission. Now what you have to do is come to this application, you have to install a couple of packages. I'm going to give you the entire code, but just remember these are the packages that I'm highlighting are installed. So Azure Security Key Vault, Identity, and then the Azure Key Vault. These three packages, once you install, we will have the necessary um, things uh, to configure it. And then apart from that, this basic settings and the development settings. Now, let's come to the Key Vault controller. So in the Key Vault controller, I have a service called Key Vault Secret Service. This is just a basic service that uh, you will have in, in general, right? And that has a method called Get Secrets. In Get Secrets method, if you see, we are going to fetch this base URL, client ID, secret, tenant ID, all these things, okay? So all these four we will fetch from the configuration. And then we are going to put the value, read the value and put it into our own model called the vault secret. Okay. So these are the important values. Remember, these should be very correct from the portal. So it will retry all these things with this four variable. And then if you see line number 103, we will uh, create a new instance of secret client. We pass the URL and we pass the secret credential, client secret credential. This flow is client secret credential. You might have seen my video per in earlier that is all managed uh, identity this is different that is different this is client credential okay so now with that the, the the client is given access and then it will read every single secret it will try to fetch the value of each secret put it into our model and finally returns the model now the application is running i'm gonna hit on execute you see this the application had access to that particular key vault and then it was able to retrieve the data Okay, so similarly for production, we need to have another application, right? For each environment in your organization, they will have different, different applications registered. Okay, so I'm going to simulate what in a real corporate uh, organization they're doing. So you will have a different application registered. Now, if you remember, we have different key walls, right? For each environment, every process is same. Copy the client ID, copy the tenant ID, create the secrets using the certificate and secret and let's copy all these things and put it into the production configuration. Okay, this is only for the testing purpose. I will show you how in general they will do to, to secure this. They will not put all these configuration in the, in the production settings. Rather, they will put it in a different place, which I'll show you after, uh, after this demo. So now let's keep every single data into the production config. Let's go to the key vault, go to the production key vault. Same thing under the access policy. Okay. We are going to configure something. So now you copied all the four values. Now this, the production key vault doesn't have any access policies. We're going to set up the access policy. Click on create, do the same thing. It just need access to get and the list this time. Choose the application meant for the production. So for that app, the product, we, we, we did it, it came. 
we selected it now this is all saved right so each client i mean each application that is registered for meant for a different key vault this the first one doesn't have access to the second key vault vice versa the second one doesn't have access to the first one okay now this is production so let's run this and see how do you run this take this production word a word called production go to this launch setting set your asp.net environment as production which means it will pick up the production environment app settings that's how you change the environment okay so asp.net core environment will determine what is your environment by default it will be development you can change it to production and there are two things which is the request role and the is express based on what you use you know you can choose uh, the the values but in my case i just did for both the case you know irrespective of what you run it's going to run it to the production side so all set let's run this application the application is running click on the key vault let's see what happens now ideally we should access the production key vault and get the secrets from the production see you receive all the data here so now we know for sure these values are perfectly working now how do you secure this so what you are about to see is we are going to first publish this to the production and see whether that runs in the production okay so we were able to test it from the local and let's deploy with these configuration and run it in the production like basically when i say production it's a deployed application okay so perfect this works in the deployed application also now it's time to know how to secure this i removed all these values from the production.json now if i publish there is no details that is available and i can show you for sure that this is not going to run so you should know that what i'm showing is correct right so when we deploy it, nothing runs we just got 200 because we have try catch it basically blow up now come to this deployed uh, web app under the configuration okay so under the configuration you need to put all these value app application uh, settings so the one that you saw from the application setting is coming in setting right so you can configure those things here so let's go here what what generally the company will do is they will come here they will put the secret values here because not everyone will have access to these uh, environment okay so in order to do this let's see if you look at this key vault under key vault there is something called base url so any any time that you have such thing it will go with a colon so key vault colon and then the base url value is something that the value that we already know okay which means somebody from the organization from the devops team is going to do that you will not have access to do this now this is one way of doing you can also click on advanced edit and come down and you can just add how much ever settings you have it i already have three settings like totally there are four settings one setting we just added and i'm going to copy paste the three more settings just right below this okay or i can come down all the way down and i can place it and this is what a shared client id client secret tenant id like i said i'm repeating no one will know this the devops or the azure engineer will do it and then they will configure it for the application and that's it now let's rerun this okay so we're going to restart this application run it now you know we deployed without any configuration in the production setting but we configured in the application itself so it was able to retrieve those values and connect to the key vault and show you the details of the secrets all right let's summarize so we created the key vaults we created the uh, application and we registered the application and then we configured the application and the access policy of the key vaults then we configured those key vaults details in the in the web application we ran it we were able to access the key vault and we also saw how to do this in the production application by configuring the secrets and we were able to configure all the application settings in the azure app service that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this thank you thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding